do you think is limiting the anti-corruption agencies from bringing those indicted in the public sector more to book? Yeah, I think this is really another pathetic problem, but the challenge is we have, we have weak institutions. These anti-corruption agencies themselves, they are not strong enough because they, they, they listen to the powers that be because they are the ones that put them there. Thankfully, last, mo last month, right, President Buhari uh, asked the National Assembly to pass the anti-corruption um, bill, the three, that's the whistleblower, the, the witness protection, witness protection bill, bill, and the crime, crime process. I think if those bills are in place, are enforced, that will also help to really cushion the effect too, because they will know that indeed there are bills that are not just being passed, but it should be strengthened because we have weak institutions. So corruption tribes everywhere because nobody is brought to book to come and face the consequences of what they have done. So if those institutions are strengthened, I think that can really help. And also even the head of these agencies, there should be a system in place where they will not be accountable, where they can be independent, not to the legislators or to the National Assembly or to the president, so that they can actually act based on their constitution without fear or favor from anyone. And they also should be culpable when they go wrong, when they are found corrupt, they should also be punished. But in a way where there is a, a there is immunity, a lot of people do things and get away with it. So I think the, pro the fundamental thing is to strengthen this anti-corruption institution so that they can really be strong enough to bring every anybody to book irrespective of whose house is God. If we get to that level, when everybody knows that, even those at the ends of affairs knows that, if I do this, I'm going to go for it, then everybody will sit tight. Mm -hmm.